So what really happens when you are fasting and how do you, how do you get to that healing state? Around an hour after your last meal, this is what's happening. Your blood glucose level peak as sugar circulates through your bloodstreams. And in response, your body releases insulin, a hormone um, that helps store excessive glucose. And some of it is stored as glycogen in the liver, while the rest is converted into fats um, stored throughout the body. Now, when you get to six to eight hours of fasting, most of the food has been digested and passed through the stomach and small intestine. As digestion wraps up, your body no longer needs to allocate significant energy to process the food, which can lead to a temporary boost in energy levels. And at the 12th hour mark, your body enters a true fasting state. At this point, the glucose levels have significantly reduced and insulin levels dropped. And when insulin falls below a certain threshold, your liver begins converting um, stored fats into ketones a more efficient energy source than glucose. This shift not only improves energy levels, but also promotes the release of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, in the brain. This supports the growth, development, and maintenance of brain cells. It enhances the flexibility of neural connections that is essential for learning and memory. It plays a key role in long-term memory formation and other cognitive process. It helps regulate the body overall, energy metabolism. This effect becomes more pronounced as fasting continues. But around the 20th hour of fasting, your body starts to produce endogenous antioxide. These are natural substances that help neutralize free radicals and reduce inflammation, and potentially lowering the risk of um, chronic disease. Another critical pro process that begins at this stage is your body's internal recycling system breaking down and repurposing damage or unnecessary cellular components. It protects against stress and may even contribute to cancer prevention. This is where your body also begins to transform into a leaner and more efficient version of itself. Now, after 48 hours, growth hormones levels begin to rise. These hormones um, um, promote lean muscle development, enhance physical and cognitive performance, it accelerates cellular repairs. But there's also a point you get to where it starts to exhibit diminishing returns. Extended highly restrictive fast can trigger a survival response where the body slows its metabolism and when regular eating resumes, the, the body may regain lost weight and sometimes more because um, it's now more efficient at storing fats. In summary, Fasting can offer numerous health benefits when done safely and with proper guidance. The, the key is understanding your body's response to each stage and knowing when to stop. You know, fasting too does a series of metabolic changes in the body depending on how long you've gone without food. The benefit vary with time and depends on individual health conditions. So if you're pregnant or living with a chronic illness, it's essential to consult a healthcare professional before starting the fast. Okay, my name is Reeves and I hope that this information helps you.